You walk into a no heat co, and the first thing the customer asks is how long will it take? You want to reply, look, this is my first time here. I have no idea how long it'll be. But you don't. Instead, you smile and say, I'll let you know as soon as I diagnose the problem. Looking at the old boiler, you see it has a standing pilot, which is lit. After removing the boiler cover, you see a transformer and an aquastat set for 165 degrees. A gray relay is attached to the boiler, and two of the wires go to the circulator. The red light is not lit on the relay. What's the first thing you do? Welcome, friends, to the Boiler Room Detective Channel. I'm your host, Ray Wolfarth. Today, we're discussing the electrical system for a small boiler. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a newbie, I hope you get something new from this video. The first thing I do is look at the temperature in the boiler using the tridicator. The circulator could be defective if the boiler water temperature is warm, but the pipes are cold. If the water temperature is low, I concentrate on the boiler and diagnose why it's not firing. The next step is to verify there's voltage to the boiler. You can do that either using a non-contact voltage detector or your meter. Be sure the boiler is getting 120 volts. If not, look for the breaker or another switch that's off. If you have power to the switch outlet screw, we know there is power to the primary side of the transformer. My next step is to check the transformer. To do so, I connect meter leads to the secondary side of the transformer. We should have 24 volts across the terminals. It may be 1 or 2 volts higher or 1 or 2 volts lower. The 24 volts leaves the transformer and goes to the thermostat. If the room temperature is lower than the thermostat set point, we should have power returning from the thermostat and could verify that by touching one meter lead on the incoming terminal of the aquastat and the other to the neutral terminal on the transformer. You could also insert the meter probe into the yellow wire nut instead of the aquastat control. We know the red light on the relay is not lit, so we know we have no power returning from the thermostat because the same wire from the thermostat feeds the coil on the relay. The boiler circulator starts when the thermostat calls for heat. If we have power to both screws on the aquastat, we know the water temperature of the boiler is below the set point of the aquastat. Some techs will check the continuity across the two screws, but I found this can give you a false reading of being made due to the wiring interference. If I have power on one side and none on the other, the water temperature is above the aquastat setting or the aquastat is defective. If we do have power returning from the thermostat, the relay will be lit and we would have power to the circulator. The last thing I would check is the gas valve. Is there power to the gas valve? The gas valve may be defective or the neutral wire going to the transformer could have a bad connection or a broken wire. I have seen many gas valves condemned due to faulty neutrals. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more expert advice and tips. Thanks for watching. Hey, I wanted to give a shout out to this Danfoss Magnetic Tool. It's a free app you can use on your smartphone, and I use it on almost every service call. It detects electromagnetic fields, so you can use it to check to see if a solenoid valve is powered or a circulator or a pump. It works awesome and I recommend it and it's free. If you would like to contact me, my contact information is here. In addition, I have two websites. Brewingwithsteam.com is focused on steam systems for breweries and distilleries. It includes a monthly blog about steam issues inside a brewery. My other site is fireiceheat.com. It's my company's website and shows some of our capabilities. My boiler books are available on Amazon, and my technical articles are included in these industry publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective, and I'll see you on the next case.